Uh, hello, yes, it's me, Shrewboy313. Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Uh, in the last episode, we finished up here in Sniffleheim after <laughs> near murdering Eric's sister. Also, Eric is back. You can see that we've leveled up some. Um, also off screen, I did complete a few quests just while I was playing, so I will insert the clips for those now. Wig, okay. Wig, did you just say wig? Yes. I know, wig, I feel that already. Wow, weren't they fun? <laughs> yeah, we got a few level ups. I don't... Ugh. Like, I'm not desperate for, like... I don't think I'm desperate for Jade to have all of this stuff, so I think we're gonna give her some resilience. And then what's this? Blow kiss. Um, you know what? She can get a Hawk... Hawkeye? I was gonna say Hawkeye Claw, and then I'll get Blow kiss just so we can unclog those two things. Uh, can Rab... 
Can he afford any of his things yet? Eh, yeah, well... Oh, I was going to say we'll get that one, but we can't afford it. Never mind. Uh, did Hendrik want anything? Truly, to be honest, in, I don't know, actually. You know what, he can have defense plus 10 with shields. Because, I mean, I got Griff Al or a cut above, even. Yeah. And I don't think anyone else could afford anything that I wanted them to have. Uh, yeah, because I want Sylvando to get that tomorrow, so we can, again, unclog those. I did, um, want to try and find Lily, or Lillian, whatever her name was. A homegirl that we had to give the diploma to, so, um... Do I know who she is or where she is? No, so shall I just, like, blindly talk to every female presenting person in this town? Yes, I will. Okay, work. <laughs> Hello, is it you? Hello, is it you? Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is certainly a tactic. Hello, is it you? No. That's outside. Oh, no, that's not outside. Uh, there's no one in here anyway. That's fine. Is there someone up in one of these rooms? I don't think there was. No, there's a tockle in there. Nope, there's no one in there. That's fine. <laughs> um, is it you? No, it's not. Is it you? No. Oh, hello. There we go. That's close enough. Teehee, I'm only joking. I know exactly who it is you're looking for. Lillian is the name of my mama's mama. Are you a friend of hers? Sure, you know what, Lily? You can have the diploma. <laughs> a letter to my grandmama. Sorry, she will not be able to read it. She isn't here anymore, you see. she. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, let's go hand in that quest, and then, like, I'm going to be zooming to the academy just to zoom back. Like, literally just to zoom back to the campsite here. That is literally all I'm going to be doing. And I also think that'll mean that, like, once we hand in this quest, that'll be the majority, not all of them, but, like, the majority of the ones that we can pick up now that we'll have done. Obviously, there was still that one with the tentacular. I remember that one. Yeah, she's dead. Scattered far after the kingdom fell. Work. Gear that glitters. Um, twinkling tuxedos and shimmering dresses. Speaking of clothes, um, people's equipment has been redone, and Sylvando has a new outfit. So, um, we've got the metal slime shield on Hendrik. Eric looks like this with two plus three falcon blades, because I figured, hmm, if he can dual wield swords, he can hit four times in a turn. I figured that. Uh, where is it? There we go. Here is Sylvander's new outfit. Looks honestly pretty sick to me. <laughs> and yeah, it's literally just, yeah, that one quest. But like, I think I... When I rectified the hero's skills, I accidentally took away his ability to do that because he needs flame slash, so... Hold on, could I actually give it back to him now? Oopsie, no. Yes, I could. Hold on. That wasn't what I was expecting, but okay. Hold one. <laughs> Let me just check. Where was it? It was something... Yeah, Tempered Tantrum. Fla yeah, Flame Slash and Hotlick, so we needed Flame Slash. Okay, that's fine. Right. Anyway, now that I'm done wasting time, let's head back to Sniffleheim. <laughs> Slay, we're here, and yeah, the, I'm pretty sure like the only area we've got to go to left is Arborea. And like, through the snare felt. The Golden Boulder, oh, it's disappeared. Work. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I see no real reason that I'm going to need to, like, what is it, go and talk to everything, talk to everything, like, fight everything. Because I fought one of them off screen. <laughs> fought one of those somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's just go up. And, I mean, we have no need to, like, go back into the Hexwood. Like, there's no reason for us to. Oh lord, why is there a whole cave? This cave wasn't here before. 
I'm certain that cave wasn't there before. I mean, it might have been. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, we've got no reason to go to the sna not the snap the Hexwood or the Royal Library. So, I mean, I will just pick up that quest from Mr. Man by the... What is it? The cabin? A blizzy body. And now I'm thinking of something very different. Also, watch Eric turn the party. <laughs> he did nearly 300 damage with his normal attack, like, that way. Like, I'm sorry. That is hard C word. Like, you can't tell me it's not. And this is precisely what I meant, like, honestly, ages ago when I said Eric isn't good until he is. Like, <laughs> I'm saying. The fact that he does so much damage from his normal attacks. And the wild thing is, since each of those attacks is like an individual attack, he could theoretically get four critical hits if he got really lucky. <laughs> Like, that is a possibility. Also, yeah, I figured that, like... What is it? Those things would both, like... Resi resi yeah, resist the cold. But, I mean, it was... <laughs> I'll work. It, I mean, it was just easier than using pearly gates or anything like that. Right, where are... Oh, are they inside? <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello. Sail wonder. I'm a soldier of Sniffelheim. Brother here to eradicate the killing machines. Okay. A type G.O. Oh, Lord. Fine. Uh, okay, so basically you want me to f take it out. Okay. On the type G.O.s that killed his brother. Commanders of the robot army only ever appear alongside killing machines. Okay. Oh, so it'll be like the, all the way back at the first forest, the, I think it was the white bulbs that occasionally just turned up with the fright bulbs? Don't 100% remember the order. But like that shiny bulb that would turn up. <laughs> because we needed to kill it for the Wishteria seeds. I imagine it'll be like that. I did not mean to go this way. Like, straight just wasn't even paying attention. No, I wanted to go, like, down and around. Oopsie. <laughs> um, there we go, we good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't need to stop, I don't think. Just, like, head right to Arborea. Whee! Oh, okay, bye. Um, oh, yeah, it's this way. And we'll... Oh, look, there's a killing machine. Some killing machines. <laughs> Let me also just quickly take a nap here at this campsite. Figure I might as well. Yeah, and honestly, since we're just passing through the snare felt that the type G01 will probably just be one I'll do off screen. The big dragon's loose. Well, we're probably gonna fight that at some point. <laughs> The big dragon is... Actually, can we go down that hole? That's just a thought I've had. Okay, let me get get off the horse. Okay, no, it's just a terrifying cavernous hole. Ooh. Oh, Lord, I was going to say, is the horse affected? Yes, the, <laughs> the horse is affected by ice physics. <laughs> oh, dear. Well... As long as we can, like, get through, I'll be fine. Oh, are we gonna fight the dragon now? Something is not right here. Be on your guard. Oh, damn, I didn't realize Sylvando had abs. Hi, how are you 
all the way in. Well, we didn't freeze you. My lengthy imprisonment has surely depleted my powers. If the skies above Sniffleheim are to once more dance with fire, then first I must feast. You shall have the No thanks. <laughs> well, I might need to change me lineup. Um, bye bye, Jade. Honestly, yeah, I'll bring Sylvando in. And Eric can be my attack instead of the hero. I genuinely did ring. <laughs> right, so I know he can hit. Obviously, he can hit for. Oh, work, he's got Mountain Mover now. Um. How many times does Dragon Slash hit? Oh, just twice, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> right, Hendrik can kabuff. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna have, actually have Rab use Insulatal. Because I know obviously dragons can use breath attacks. I wanna be, try and be smart. F oh, <laughs> figures it's. Boy, I was gonna say figured it'd be my attacker that gets paralyzed. Good lord. Um, where is it? I hit the wrong button. Oopsie doodles. Um, good thing we've got a perfect panacea for you, Eric. <laughs> Everything's going tits up already. Right, well. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, I can use bloody ma- of it can use bloody magic as well, can't it? Okay, this one missed, right. Let's see what a normal attack does. <laughs> right, I do actually want to see, like... Right, if we were just hitting 500 with a regular attack. I also want to see, like, how... What is it? Um, Dragon Slash will do now he's oomphful to see whether that does more damage. Work. Cause I mean, if it's gonna do more damage with Dragon Slash, I might as well use it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, who's that? It's Eric. He's just for some reason behind Hendrik. Actually, that roughly does the same amount of damage. Um. Oh, let's treat ourselves to another accelerator. <laughs> And then Rab can... Oh yeah, Rab got full heal. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hendrik can magic barrier, so we're plus two on... There we go, we're plus two on everything except Insulatal. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, let's just normal attack. It's ridiculous how much damage he does. <laughs> right, let's see if we, you know, let's see if we can't poison it. Why not? Hey, it worked. <laughs> um, and honestly, just for the sake of coverage, let's do this again. There we go. Oh, good lord! F <laughs> Four damage a turn is not worth it. It genuinely isn't worth it. Oh, balls. Hey, you'll survive. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll survive. Oh, there we go, Hendrik. <laughs> Hendrik made it out okay somehow. Um, Let's see how our cut above does. <laughs> Not great, but could have been worse. Um... 
Does he? Uh, no, squelch, defuddle, no. Bedazzlement and blindness, no. That's, that's a shame. Uh, salvation is... Oh, no, it's... Oh, but indeed. Well, we don't have anything to heal from that, unfortunately. Um, oh, it's half dead anyway. Let's just attack it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a whole two damage. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Sylvando, you f feel free to rejoin the party at any moment, honestly. <laughs> Please. It would be greatly appreciated. Sick. <laughs> Only my ones that aren't paralyzed <laughs> fell down. Oh lord. Oh good, we're back in the game. Um, Let's actually... Ac no, let's be stupid. Let's accelerate. We'll re-up that. Magic Barry's gonna bloody wear off because Hendrik can't stand up, apparently. Well. <laughs> I was gonna say, everyone's already fallen bloody down. So it's not going to make much of a difference, is it? Work. <laughs> um, what could Sylvando do? Oh no, he can oomph or can't he? Yes. <laughs> um, honestly, why not? <laughs> why not? Like, with- oh yeah, I can manage to get the restorative on Hendrik to plus three. So like that with Writer's Reign, he gets like 50 HP back a turn. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we can survive still. Oop. Um, does... I don't think he needs to do anything, yeah. Um... <laughs> Literally, I'm like, do I need to do anything? Eh, let's decelerate, why not? Maybe it'll work. <laughs> Is it overkill? Sure. But it's fun to have. Uh, just... <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Let's be real. Hold on. Rab's defense is wearing off. His defense buff. There we go, good. I don't actually know whether, like, Insulate will protect against, like, Burning Breath. I genuinely don't. You know what? You can drag and slash as well. Why not, Hendrik? <laughs> uh, you know what? Out of paranoia, I'll do. <laughs> I'll re-up this, and then Sylvando can actually oomphal Hendrik because if because <laughs> Hendrik can obviously use drag and slash as well. Ow. Okay, work. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, let's just... <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it works, doesn't it? Like, it's scummy tactics, but they work. Oh, I didn't... I didn't make much of a difference. Um, let's try Kukrak. Well, that worked. Slay. Nice. Uh, do I want anything for him? Not bothered about Miracle Slash or Fal- Sorry, I just had the idea of Falcon Slash with the Falcon Swords. Um, I think I'll actually work my way up Guile now. Like, up to Critical Claim, because that's like a guaranteed critical hit. So I'll work up to that.
Well, game's over now, guys. <laughs> Oh, hey, Serena. <laughs> no, no Veronica, though, just Serena. Although... Be gone, thou black offense. May heaven's winds propel thee hence. I'm actually okay with it being Serena instead of Veronica because, honestly, Serena slaps. Hey, Diva. Idris feels chosen. Long have I waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. It's ever so nice to see you all again. Serena, it's really you. Thanks for helping us out there. Where did you spring from, and where have you been? I've been trying to make my way back to Arborea ever since that awful day. But I got rather sidetracked seeing to those who needed my help. When I heard that the golden iceberg blocking Sniffleheim Harbor had melted away, I decided to try and make my way home from there. I never thought I'd meet you on the way. You're heading to Arborea, eh? We're on our way there ourselves. Reckon you keepers would be the best folk to ask about a certain sacred flying contraption. A flying contraption? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but I'm sure Father Benedictus will know something about it. It's so wonderful to see you all again. Would you mind awfully if I tagged along with you? A bitch, hell yeah. Am I gonna have to rebuild her? <laughs> if we follow the path up the mountain, we'll be in Arborea in no time. Okay. Oh, she's level 43 at work. Character builder. Oh, she's very much got the same stuff. Okay. I see. Her stuff hasn't changed then. <laughs> oh, let's just... Let's just buy these, I guess. Because we can. Right, what is this? Dual wield... What? Why would Serena need to dual wield? Like, can she... <laughs> can she dual wield, like, two... Like, wands? <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> uh, was there a camp... Oh, I thought there was a campsite. Well... <laughs> I was wrong. Um... You know what, actually, I think we're gonna head up to Arborea in the next episode, because, I mean, that fight was certainly a fight we fought. <laughs> oh yeah, she's, I was gonna say, she's wearing, like, what she was wearing when we left her. Like, the stuff now that's better for her, that I guess, or there could be. <laughs> oh, work, she can hold that? Wait, that isn't a great shield? I thought it was. Actually, then, Hendrik, I'll, t I'll give him the dark shield back and Serena can have the metal slime one. There we go. Yes, I'm going to leave this episode here and right in the next one we're just going to head into our body. So thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd really like to. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.